interest in architecture since I was about 10. Uh, I really enjoyed making paper models as kind of my hobby when I was a kid. Uh, I was a pretty good student in high school and I was really enjoyed math and science. Um, and it made sense for me to pursue architecture because it was kind of the combination of um, art and math. Uh, and I think now, as I practice, there is there are a lot of technical components of my job, um, and the kind of artsy parts are the um, are the color to my day. So I think it's uh, it's a really good career path for the combination of those interests. Um, when I got to high school, um, I had one friend who's. Uh, relative was an architect and she kind of let me shadow her. She worked at the Army Corps of Engineers. When I kind of shadowed her, she just showed me what she does throughout the day. Um, we went through a design charrette that they were working on uh, for, I can't remember the project, but it was something local, which was helpful for me to understand um, how you can influence the community that you live in. I have always been really artsy in a lot of different ways. Uh, and architecture for me was the manifestation of that through a career path. Um, but I continue to kind of express my art in a lot of other ways. Um, my passion for affordable housing really stems from my own uh, need for housing as a kid. I was a little bit housing insecure in my childhood. And uh, it was really important for me to be able to apply that um, to my career. So that's why I practice um, in affordable housing now, and especially in Seattle, where there's a large homelessness uh, crisis. I think it's really impactful to be able to use architecture to um, shelter uh, our most vulnerable populations. And I think that being able to provide good design in addition to just the basic need of shelter um, can be really powerful for folks. So uh, that's where my, my passion for affordable housing comes from. Summer leading into senior year, I attended uh, the Virginia Tech summer design program, uh, and that was a week long kind of intensive to introduce students to architecture. Uh, and that kind of led me to um, pursuing architecture as a major in college. So I attended Carnegie Mellon University for my undergraduate degree. I received a Bachelor of Architecture degree, uh, and I had my first internship the year after second year, and that was uh, teaching students about architecture. Uh, and then after third year, I interned with a construction firm in Orlando, Florida, yes. And then after my fourth year, I interned with a construction firm in Pittsburgh. Um, and when I was in, I also continued on to grad school at Carnegie Mellon University and received my master's in architecture, engineering, and construction management. And during that degree, I was a GEM fellow. And a part of the GEM fellowship is that you are partnered with uh, a company that sponsors your master's degree. And I was partnered with Facebook at the time, Meta now. And I was an intern for the data center design um, and construction sector. Uh, and then I graduated uh, from my master's and landed my first job here at Weber Thompson. are interested in architecture, I think there are a lot of programs that can uh, show you what the industry is like now. Uh, NOMA Project Pipeline is an initiative to um, share architecture with minority students specifically, but all students just to get more um, interest in the pipeline. And that's for middle, middle school students. The premise of the program is uh, we show you plans, sections, elevations, and then you have the chance to be able to translate that through a design project um, and model it out with a team. And I think opportunities like that can really give you a sneak peek into what the career field is like. I would recommend that you do a five-year Bachelor of Architecture program. That program is accredited, and once you finish 
the five years, then you can uh, start on your licensing journey, taking your exams, finishing your hours, and becoming a licensed architect faster. Uh, there is another route to licensure, which is doing a four-year unaccredited program, but you will have to do an additional master's program. So if that's the path that you would like to take, just beware that that does take an extra year. Um, and depending on your situation, financially, the five years might be better than the six years, or the master's might be better than the bachelor's. It depends on um, your situation. But I think it's something that students should be aware of. If you want to be a licensed architect, you need to go through an accredited program, whether that's the BARC or the MARC.